I already have these broken loose. Make sure it's clean. Remember to put it back the right way with the little V pointing towards the front. I want to cut off a piece that is as long as the bearing is wide. I'm going to lay it across the where the bearing goes there, this way, and then put my cap back on. And then put my nuts back on. I want to be careful not to let the crankshaft turn. I torque these guys to 25 foot pounds. There's that one. Just take them both back off again. Take both of those, take my cap back off. There we go. And you'll see that little string left a mark on both sides. Cut off a little section of this uh, paper here. Make sure I'm using the millimeter side. And what I want to do is compare it to, it's not that one. It looks very close to that one. Definitely wider than that one. So that's the closest one. The clearance is 0 .038. That's uh, between 0 .02 and 0 .05. So 0 .038 is good. That means these uh, rod bearings are good. After I check the clearance already, I'm just going to... Uh, push these pistons down and pull them out the top of the block which is on the bottom now. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the plastic gauge measuring on each one of these main bearings. If I can get them out. There we go. That looks good to my eye. There we go. These main bearings have a little arrow on them that points towards the front of the engine. Hammer a little bit. And these ones I will properly torque 37 foot pounds. A little bit on each side. Don't let the crankshaft turn. There we go, right there. Gonna take them back off. Alright, a little bit at a time. Tight. Okay, this one is let more than 0 .038 and less than 0 .051. 0 .051 is kind of on the outside, so it looks like I'm going to have to get new main bearings. If I have to get one, then I'm just going to get the whole set. Now figure out which main bearings I need. These uh, main bearings on these Suzuki's are not all the same. I need to use these uh, codes. It says A, B, A, A, A. And then over here it says 2, 1, 2, 2. Okay, but there's a 3, 3. Across over here there's a 2, 2, 2. So that means that this one that I took off is a 3, this one is a 3, this one's a 2, this one's a 2, and this one's a 2. And they are also color coded. There will be a color on the edge here. I'm looking at bearing number 1. I'm going to look over here at the first number, that's a 3. And the first letter on the block surface here is an A. So, 3A. And look back at that little chart. 3A is colorless. There's no color code. So the standard bearing for no color code, 2.002 to 2.006 millimeters. And my second bearing is also 3 and B. It's 3B. So look at my chart. 3B is yellow, so it should have a yellow mark on it when I take it out. The next one is 2, all the rest are 2's, so that's 2A, 2A, 2A. All the rest are all 2A. And back in my chart, 2A is 
black. The, my main bearings, I need a colorless, a yellow, a black, black, black. The corresponding sizes to the colors are right here on this chart. 